In House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra Targaryen makes a series of unfortunate mistakes that contribute to the Seven Kingdoms' future instability. Princess Rhaenyra's hasty decisions jeopardize her position as heir to the Iron Throne in House of the Dragon. Rhaenyra's reckless behavior, including sneaking out and engaging in affairs, angers her father and brings dishonor upon her name and position. Rhaenyra's choices lead to strained relationships with her family and ultimately result in the start of the Dance of the Dragon's War. Hello everyone, if you are new here, Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any new updates on your favorite TV series. King Viserys Targaryen has great faith in his daughter, Princess Rhaenyra, whom he names heir in House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1, The Heirs of the Dragon. A charmer from the get-go, she is cheered as the realm's delight at a young age, and her father regards her as a safe pair of hands. Though Rhaenyra grows up to be a motherless daughter, Viserys ensures she is properly educated in statecraft as it is essential to her future success. The young Rhaenyra often ignores her father's counsel and makes hasty decisions that are detrimental to her position as heir to the Iron Throne. Her journey through House of the Dragon's time jumps is filled with terrible decisions and plans that aren't very well thought out. Number 1. She lives recklessly. Rhaenyra and Viserys have an estranged relationship following his decision to marry his daughter's childhood companion, Alicent Hightower. The father-daughter duo grows apart, especially after Alicent bears the king his firstborn male child, Aegon. As seen in House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 3, Second of His Name, Rhaenyra dissociates from the royal celebrations held in honor of Prince Aegon's second name day. At the same time, Alicent wants to smooth over the cracks. Rhaenyra is particularly cranky on the occasion and leaves the hunt assembled in honor of her half-brother simply because Jason Lannister puts forth a marriage proposal. Rhaenyra publicly confronts her father, while he explains she is of age and Jason is a good match. She storms out of the camp, mounts a horse, and races into the Kingswood, putting her life at stake. Her sworn shield, Sir Kristen Cole, rides behind and catches up with her. Rhaenyra doesn't think twice before airing the family's dirty laundry in public and she puts herself in a situation that could have resulted in her being harmed, or worse, her death. Number 2, she abruptly ends her tour and angers her father even more. The beginning of House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 4, King of the Narrow Sea, is home to Rhaenyra's decision to cut short her tour of Westeros that Viserys went to great lengths to arrange. A line of suitors has gathered at Storm's End to pursue a courtship with her. She mocks Lord Dondarrion and scoffs at the young Willem Blackwood, while Lord Bormund Baratheon tries to explain what each of these suitors brings to the table. After an underage Willem and Jarl Bracken get into a heated argument and decide to settle it through swordplay, Rhaenyra announces she's leaving for King's Landing, while Sir Kristen tells her she's expected in Bitterbridge in three days. I would happily row myself to King's Landing if it brought an end to this ridiculous pageant. Rhaenyra leaves for King's Landing, and even Sir Kristen is slightly amazed at her decision to reject every suitor and cut the tour short. This further strains her relationship with her father, but she remains adamant. Number 3, she sneaks out of the Red Keep, risks her position as heir. Viserys on several occasions educates Rhaenyra about the importance of marrying for social and political gains, but she refuses to take her duties seriously. She happily sneaks out of the Red Keep and into the Street of Silk with the rogue prince, Daemon Targaryen, only to be left alone in a pleasure house and spied on by one of White Worm's little birds. When word reaches the king through Otto Hightower, he finds himself in an utterly humiliating position, defending his daughter by vindicating Otto's naked ambition for the throne. Rhaenyra's name is soiled and when a worried Alicent confronts her the next morning, she tells half-truths, going as far as swearing upon the memory of her mother that nothing happened. Alicent is right, Rhaenyra brings dishonor upon her name and position as the king's heir by being reckless in the streets with her uncle. Number 4, desires her sworn shield as a paramour. Engages in behavior unbecoming of a queen. 
Renera invites Sarah Christian Cole in her bedchamber in House of the Dragon. The night Damon leaves Renera in a pleasure house, she finds her way back to the Red Keep and invites Sarah Christian into her bedchamber. Alicent eventually finds out about Sarah Christian's rendezvous with Renera from the man himself, and she feels betrayed. Now, Renera is free to do as she pleases and exercise her agency as a young woman, but she keeps taking all these risks with her family and men in close quarters. Never does it occur to Renera to be discreet about her tryst with her sworn shield. Number 5 shows blatant defiance, chooses to have Ser Harwin Strong's children. One of the biggest causes of rivalry between adults, Renera and Alicent, is the fact that the latter resents the princess agency. Alicent does as her father instructs, and Viserys is forced to call Renera's courtship to an end after the rumor mongering. Years later, after Lena Valerion's funeral at Driftmark, Alicent, who knew that none of Renera's sons were sired by her husband, Lena Valerion, indirectly called into question the sanctity of her marriage. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.